Hello and welcome to Vector Virtual Week. Uh, my name is Thies Magnus Wolter from GKN Automotive, a tier one supplier for all wheel drive and e drive systems, where I am responsible for the global engineering services. In the next 15 minutes, I will give you a short overview about our 1D simulation strategy and a short example about it. In this presentation, I will give you an overview about our 1D simulation strategy with some background, why we have chosen certain tools and uh, how our organization is uh, set up in a decentralized environment. The second part will be an example of a driver in the loop system with a setup, usage and benefits and of course a final a summary. When it comes to 1D simulation, usually there are a lot of different tools in different departments around the company and there is a need to define a certain strategy with tool sets and way of workings. So uh, several years ago, we decided to define a clear strategy for our controls uh, development in our all-wheel drive and e-drive systems. Usually there are several different tools needed and uh, obviously the MATLAB Simulink is uh, the choice for tool integration and also for the development on controls. For vehicle dynamics, which is uh, necessary for our uh, controls development also, a dedicated vehicle simulation program is in use. In this case, we have also a history with the Dyna 4 system, um, and which has proven to match our needs. It has an optimized multibody system with a very stable solver. So there was also no need to look for an uh, other system. But for the multi-physics, which uh, gets important for, for simulation of mechatronic systems, we had to look into different tools. There was uh, no established one. We had investigated uh, Amisim, Simulation X, MapleSim and Simscape multibody and uh, chosen finally was Amisim tool. The next slide here shows uh, the summary of our evaluation with different criteria and uh, see the final selection here in the middle, LMS Amisim, it was uh, called at that time now uh, Siemens Sim Center. Apart from the criteria you see here listed, Amazon also has uh, the advantage that it allows model reduction. That means uh, that uh, the step time and execution time can be uh, also brought down to the needs of a hardware in the loop system, which was uh, important for us. Yeah, on the left hand side of 1D simulation, uh, you see a lot of topics, I guess most uh, of them you are already familiar with. Maybe I can point out that our hardware in the loop department uh, also works uh, based on the vector tool chain. And uh, on the right top side, I would like to point out that apart from the three mentioned tools, um, there's also a need to connect to more detailed simulation like Adams for suspension or Nastran and others. So this is uh, solved via co-simulation. And uh, this is also used if we need to create uh, map data, for example, uh, transmission efficiency, which is used in the Dyna 4. This can also be done with detailed simulation, can also be done by uh, a RIG test, uh, but this is uh, more expensive. This slide uh, shows uh, the global organization we have uh, with a central in Loma or on our local CAE department where all the process management happens and where the work uh, packages from requesters are distributed to different departments all around the globe. We have teams in uh, Americas, in Asia uh, and in Europe, of course. I would also like to point out our Bangalore team. So we do not uh, distinguish between the uh, complexity of the simulation here, 
but uh, uh, we uh, differentiate according to the communication needs with requesters. If there's a high frequency communication need, uh, the group should be close to the requester. Otherwise, it can be located uh, according to our workload, which makes uh, balancing also very uh, easy. Here we have uh, some more details about the organization. Uh, as you may guess, uh, there is not a single department with all capabilities for all kinds of systems. Therefore, we rely on our teams with the specialists for e-motor, for clutch actuation and so on. We have a system uh, for quality gates and so on, which ensures that uh, the models work together, that the reuse is given and so on. The central system we use is uh, SVN, but we also uh, use the, in addition the tools, um, database and um, management versions like Dana database, uh, Amazon library and the Simulink model library. Having said that, I would like to come to the second part of my presentation, the driver in the loop, which is, uh, as you can see here on the left side, basically a driving simulator. It is based on inexpensive hardware and software, which uh, usually also management likes to hear. We have a forced feedback uh, from our Dyna4 simulation in order to give the driver a feeling of the controllability of the vehicle in the current simulation. And in addition, there is engine sound generation, which uh, supports the speed impression. There is no acceleration possible here, as you can see, which would need a much more expensive uh, system. The driver model in the simulation is also replaced, of course, by the human driver. This has uh, the advantage that uh, this driver usually is also able to handle unstable driving behavior of the uh, car in the current situation. Uh, the driver model is not always able to do so, and uh, it doesn't always uh, behave like a human driver. Yeah, and of course, a replay of driver inputs uh, uh, for further debugging if, uh, uh, yeah, if an error occurs or something like that is also easily given. This slide shows the environment and uh, the details of the simulation. Uh, the heart is a Dyna4 vehicle model without the driver model, which is connected to a software in the loop of our functional software, which makes it quite easy to develop and debug. We have uh, uh, now as a uh, yeah, software in the loop implemented, but will in future, of course, also use uh, prototype ECU and maybe C sample uh, ECU uh, connected to the system. The controls usually run at a step size of 10 milliseconds. Whereas for a more detailed AMSA model, for example, of a hydraulic clutch actuator uh, in a Twinster system, a step size uh, of one millisecond is required. The usage of the system is, of course, quite similar uh, to uh, test drive and, and calibrations but has uh, the advantage that we can do it uh, before and in addition to uh, already available prototype vehicles. So, um, yeah, controller integration tests, function development and so on are easily possible. And uh, we have also built up models, environment models of our test tracks uh, around Loma and also in Sweden and Arjeplog where uh, we can do uh, already a pre-calibration and uh, can check influences of vehicle parameters, can uh, have uh, yeah, diff testing under different conditions, um, have defined conditions, of course, replay, and so on. The benefits of this uh, setup are quite obvious. Um, you see here the well-known V model on the right side. Um, so before prototype is available, we can already start uh, with some tests while we are or still on the left side in the development phase. So um, this uh, also results into a much better planability of our tests. There is also very 
if you need then for uh, additional prototype vehicles, which is also a request uh, usually from the customers. And uh, yeah, as I said before, there are uh, no side effects and uh, we, we have a controlled environment. Uh, we have back-to-back -back testing and so on. Um, we can easily find and debug uh, problems. So uh, I have uh, mentioned here two examples. So worst case, uh, un uh, unintended acceleration uh, happened once, but was uh, uh, also uh, easy to debug and to solve. And uh, also debugging of, of a state machine uh, is an actual example uh, where we could uh, find and solve problems before we went to winter test with our vehicles. To summarize my presentation, a clearly defined tool landscape and way of working enables a very effective global teamwork and the combination of centralized management and decentralized development leads to a very good balance and utilization uh, of our global capabilities and uh, also of our costs. The example of the driver in the loop uh, driving simulator shows very well how a low-cost simulator can be applied for development and calibration of vehicle controls, leading to savings in time. And uh, I have to admit that I was myself impressed uh, how much can be achieved with this simple configuration. Talking to the test drivers, uh, I uh, got the information that the younger the people, the better they can adapt to this kind of system. Maybe also a benefit of generation PlayStation. Yeah, with that, I'm at the end. I thank you for your attention. I hope that I could give you some insights and I'm now open for your questions.